Happy New Year, Curtis. Uh, Curtis. <laughs> Just no, Curtis. <laughs> I'm still drunk. I'm still drunk from yesterday, Turkish. Um, and it was a Happy New Year. What a performance. Trust me. Trust me. First and foremost, Happy New Year, Rob. Yeah. Happy New Year, everyone. It's my brethren's birthday today. Man United fan. Happy birthday, Jamal. <laughs> yeah, out uh, in Paris, yeah. I hope Clear's looking after you real well tonight because you're in for some smoke when you get back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm tired of these United fans, you know. United, Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal, we're all a mess. Mm. We're all a mess right now. We're all up and down right now. So wins like this, it can really push us on. Do you get mm. me? What did I say to you last week? All them comments saying, did he say we're going to beat United? Yeah, I did say we're going to beat United because I know my club. When mm. we need to beat Chelsea and hang in for top four, we lose. But when all hope's gone, what do we pull out the bag? But however, do you see a change now in the attitude yeah, yeah. of that team under Mikel Arteta? That's a team, even the game against Chelsea that we lost, nobody came out and was moaning because they saw fight. The game against Bournemouth, yeah. lots of fight in that game. Um, and today, I mean, the, the performances out there, the work rate, the effort, you could not fault any of it. 100%. And you know me, I've mm. been critical of a lot of players this season, mm. last season and for the past few years. David Luiz, second great game in a row. Mm. Let's not let that last eight minutes against Chelsea mm. shadow the fact that Luiz has been solid at the back. And two players I've been really critical about, mm. Xhaka and Ozil. Mm. Last couple of games, they're doing a lot more. That's what I mm. want to see. I want to see a lot more, but they're doing a lot more now. They're working hard. They're doing the right thing on the pitch, supporting each other well and working mm. hard first and foremost. Like Arteta said, he needs to bring the basics back in. And the basics mm. is work hard, work and, your socks off. Yeah, And also the basics is bringing in back players, playing players in the right position, Torreira. Yep. Just playing where we know he's and he's been doing brilliantly um, and putting Pepe in there, yeah. which, which he was brilliant today. Look, as much as Curtis has been banging on about Pepe, I've been banging on about Pepe too. Mm. He is our best attacking player. Mm. And when we unlock that talent week in, week out, we've got a big, big player on our hands. Mm. And moving forward this season, we need to work out who stays and who goes because mm. there's going to be a massive transition come summer. I mean, the guy mm. we just talked about, Ozzy, he's got a year left. Our mm. captain, Obba, top scorer, he's got a year left. So it's still going to be a rocky road in the next few months, next year. Mm. But the positivity is there from Arteta. You can see he's bringing something in. He's bringing mm. in the style and the players are buying into it. Now it's important for the players to kick on now for the rest mm. of the season, work on it, work on it, work on it and prove to us fans, prove to Arteta that you deserve to play for Arsenal Football Club.